October 2019, at about 10 a.m., the event kick-started at Radisson Hotel Ikeja GRE. Mm -hmm. right. if you ask me today, I'll tell you I'm a fulfilled woman today. <laughs> if I did not tell, you guys were able to make this. I appreciate you guys all. My APC Lego State Chairman, sir, you're welcome. My daddy, NTA Immediate Pass, Lagos Network Center. Mr. Chet, good to have you here. Many SMEs, business owners, intending ones, disabled business owners, job seekers, captains of industry, individuals, pressmen and women were on ground with excitement to learn and to sell their goods and services. We all know that our government can do everything. If we're thinking of falling back on them to support us and, and do everything that they are supposed to do, we're wasting our time. You don't need a shop to start your business. Your business can, even with the advent of this uh, uh, phone and all that, digital, whatever that we have now, your, 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 your shop starts there and your reach is everywhere. We are global and you can reach anywhere in the world. A business that is not on the internet in another 10 years is a dead business. Yes, right. So you still need to have that basic education. You want to log on. What is logging on? We all have phones. Some of us have sophisticated phones. Those phones can make money for you. We also have on ground Smedan officials, Nemasa officials, Timeline Consult Limited officials, Aristo Limited officials, CMC officials with Fake Bank PLC. SMEs Connect as our official sponsor converge at the one of its kind event for SMEs. Event Chairman, APC National Chairman, Sunday Balogu, who opened the event and did a tour of exhibition grant with speakers like Yinka Fisher, Lego coordinator Snidan, a former director, CEO of e Business Life Magazine. Senator Anthony Adefie, Senator of Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bayaro Agabi, President TMC Limited, Engineer Ajibola Abiola, former Director of NBC, Yinka Isaac, Coordinator for People Living with Disability, Mr. Onyeka, the Brand Doctor, President Brand Consulting Limited. These speakers gave the event another vibe with their teaching and paper presentation. We need entrepreneurial education. So since you are out, you are a graduate, and you know that you cannot apply what you learn, develop yourself. Like the, the Royal Highness was saying, you know, they use apprenticeship. They use that to learn. And you find that those, when they are learning, they are learning even how to do the business itself. At our own, we go to school, apart from medicine, really. There may be law. Most of the courses, we don't really learn what we are. Let's say you want to be an engineer. Many engineers cannot even take care of their cars. That's the simple truth because they were not learned to do that. When you are growing good and you still want to perform, the first thing you do is that those before you, what did they do that they are still strong? You ask questions, you look online, you find a lot of old people telling you what they did and so on and so on. In Yoruba, we said, Eshinwaju mite yingu sane, which means it's the horse in front that you use to judge yourself. So, I put on quite a lot of effort. Some said, just take honey and and uh, ginger, some say this, whoever said it, as long as it's there, I try it. But recently there was one being advertised online, and it's for you to get younger. 
And I was using it. And people will say, Ah, oh, you are looking young and no, this is what I bought. <laughs> so you can see the advice that is going on. Even because what you put in your product is what sells it. Even for God's catches and so on and so forth. I've just said people don't like it, though. you spoil your case. So honesty and determination is what makes it. We are in a knowledge economy. In a knowledge economy, um, you don't require your physical body. I'm speaking from this perspective because we are predominantly, you know, uh, physically challenged, but we are not challenged in our mind. So if you have your mind together, you know, that means you are the champion of the knowledge economy. Yeah, when you mention ICT, you are narrowing the potential of the knowledge economy. Because ICT, they are just, what it means is that information and communications technology, that's the technology that allows information and communication to be transported. But when you are talking about the digital world, the knowledge economy itself, you involve innovation, business skills, you involve uh, production of, you know, um, television production, you involve all kinds of things that we do, you know, even architectural design and all of that. So today, you know, the knowledge economy has brought about easy entry for businesses. You know, what that means is that perhaps you don't really need a shop to start a business. The event which gave SMEs, business owners, intending ones, job seekers, opportunity to learn, unlearn, ask questions, and make inquiries. And those with goods make good sales. If I, that, my, that is my product outside. If I take the air freshener and the lato to shop price, the marketing manager then will ask me for the NAFTA registration. How can I make it? Even the registration, I don't know what government can even do to us with that. Those those support. Now somebody who wants to empower themselves. Like our uh, coordinator said that we don't need money. And we want to empower ourselves. Go into one business or the other. And we apply for a loan. So as to start a business. And uh, the kind of question they ask you. Please, somebody who, who just wants to start afresh. They say you must have a shop. You must have started a business. You must have run it to a certain level. And they will come and verify what you have in your store before they give out money. And this is a fresher who wants to start as a beginner. Now the question comes, with all these situations, how do we empower ourselves? I'm actually encouraged to give more and to see how uh, uh, the, the business industry and environment in Nigeria can be improved. I'm really, I really want to thank BD World for what they are doing. Even despite the challenges, they still forge ahead to put this together. And I believe the next one should be a bigger one and better than this. And I see a better business for everyone that has been a part of this program today. This is just a play to what is coming your way in third edition. Come 13th October 2022 at Radisson Blue Ikeja GRA. Save the date. 13th October 2022. We are waiting for you. It promises to be a life-changing event for you, your business and your career. Thank you, Billy Sword Productions.